and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we are learning how to play a new song called Mouse in the House. For this song, I'm on my digital piano again, so we can play it in a rock style. Here goes. First, let's figure out the solfege of this song. For Mouse in the House, we'll only be using Do, Mi, and So. Three notes, all a step apart. Let's practice singing that together with hand signs. Try it with me. Do, Mi, So. Good. Now, let's come back down. So, Mi, Do. That's called skipping down. Now try this one. Do, so. Your turn. Good. Now this one. So, do. You try. Super. Now for Mouse in the House, I'll sing the first three notes and you try and tell me what they are in solfege. Here goes. Ba, ba, ba. What would that be in solfege? Can you say it? Listen again. Ba, ba, ba. If you said so, me, do, you're correct. Let's come over to the grand staff and try drawing those notes. Here we are on the grand staff. The first three notes of mouse in the house are so, me, do. And since we're going to be in the C major pentascale, we'll put so on G. And you'll remember that G is on this line that goes through the middle of the treble clef swirl. So we have so, me is a skip down, and then we need to skip down again, so we'll need a ledger line here on do. Together that makes so, me, do. Three notes skipping down. Can you point with me and sing the solfege? Ready, go. So, me, do. Good. Now the next part of Mouse in the House goes ba, 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 ba. What would that be in solfege? The correct answer is so, so, me, do. Almost the same pattern, but this time so repeats. We have so, repeat, skip down, skip down or so, so, me, do. Now, can you point with me and let's sing the solfege of the whole thing so far. Ready, go. So, me, do, so, so, me, do. Good, now let's figure out the next part of Mouse in the House. The next part of Mouse in the House goes ba, ba. What would that be in solfege? The correct answer is so, do. So I draw it like this. So, do. Now, remember in music we have two kinds of languages we're learning. The solfege language, also we learn letter names. Can you figure out the letter name of this note? We know it's so, do, but in letter names this would be G, C. As here we're on the G line, and then we come down to middle C. Then what comes next? We have ba, 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 three repeating notes. So we'd sing do, do, do. Or if we were doing letters, we could say C, 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 like this. Now, can you point and sing the solfege with me? Ready, go. So, do, 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 do. Now let's sing the letter names. Ready, go. G, C, 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 C. Great job. Time to practice moving our fingers now. Okay, let's hold up your right hand with me and we're going to start 
with a skipping down pattern. So, me, do. Let's try it together. Ready, go. So, me, do. Good. The next part goes so, so, me, do. Your turn. Good. Then we have so, do. Your turn. Then do, do, do. Your turn. Good. Next we have so, so, me, do. Your turn. Then another, so, so, me, do, your turn. Good. Next, so, do, your turn. Then do, do, do. Great job. Now, let's come to the piano and give it a try. For Mouse in the House, let's use the C major pentascale. Although later on, you could try transposing this to the D major pentascale. Remember, we only need Do, Mi, and So for this song, these three notes, using finger five, three, and one. I'll play a pattern, then you play it back. So, Mi, Do, your turn. Good. So, So, Mi, Do, your turn. Good. So, Do, your turn. Do, 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 your turn. As you're playing, make sure you have great piano posture with curved fingers. Especially on your pinky, finger five. Make sure it's playing on its tip, not flat. Let's try the next part with lyrics this time. Or the kitty, your turn. In the housey, your turn. My turn again. Will be your turn. Chasing you, your turn. Then on the word run, we're going to do something called a glissando, which sounds like this. Run. We turn our hand upside down and using our fingernails, we glide up the keys to make a sound like the mouse running away from the cat. Every pianist does a glissando differently, but I like to turn my hand at an angle like this because this part of your finger sometimes is a little bit sensitive and it can hurt. And so you want to try to tip your hand so only your fingernails touch and do it a little bit gently, but quickly. And then it doesn't really hurt because only your fingernails are touching the keys. Now I'd like you to press pause and practice Mouse in the House from the beginning all the way to the end with the glissando on your own. Press play when you're ready to hear me show you how to do it with our rock accompaniment. So from our website, if you purchase the complete materials for Unit 2, you'll be able to play Mouse in the House with this fun rock accompaniment. I'm going to show you what that will sound like. Remember, with the backing tracks that you can get with the complete materials, you'll hear some clicks. In Mouse in the House, four clicks tell you that it's time to start. So you hear click, 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 and then on the next beat, you start playing. So let me demonstrate what that will sound like. If you want, you can try it along with me or just listen. But remember, wait for the four clicks and then begin. Here goes. Great job learning Mouse in the House today. On your own, I'd like you to practice Mouse in the House every day. Try it in both your right hand and left hand. Also, try transposing it to the D major pentascale. From our website, you can download the complete materials for Unit 2 to get the sheet music for this song. Plus, you can get the rock accompaniment to play along with. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Okay, let's just get one thing straight here. I am a mouse, not a mousy. Just one syllable, please. And I live in a house, home, casa, not a housey. Yeah, my little sister, she has a little roomy in her housey, but not me. And last thing, I am not going to go running away from any cat, because I stand my ground. I am not afraid of any. Ah! Oh, T Rexy, it's you. Please don't sneak up on me like that. Uh, sorry. I was just coming by to say that your mommy was calling, and she says it's time to go back to your housey for nappy nap time. Nappy nap time. Oh, goody. I love my nappy nap time. Thanks, T Rexy. Kissy. Time to go back to my housey. Bye. Bye. Nappy nap time. Hmm.